Hello, children. Today's children's story is titled "The White Lie." Do you know what does telling a white lie mean? Today, we will explore more about it in this story. Meet Joey. She was on her way back home from school. She saw a cute rabbit. Isn't this rabbit the cutest? That was what she had on her mind. She looks to her left and right, checking her surroundings, and there seems to be nobody around. The coast was clear, so she picked up the rabbit and put it in her bag because she wanted to keep it. After that, she went home straight. When she got home, she calls out to her dad. Dad, I'm back. Are you home? There wasn't any response, so it seems like nobody was home. So she put her bag down and immediately searched around her house. She managed to find a box, so she put the rabbit in the box and kept it in her room. During dinner time that day, she couldn't help but smile and stare at her phone. Her dad saw her being so happy, so she turned and asked her, "Joey, what are you looking at? You look really happy today. Anything special you'd like to share with me?" Joey was afraid. In that moment of fear, Joey panicked and replied, "Oh, it's nothing. I just had a good day today." <laughs> I see. That's wonderful, my dear. As her dad saw Joey was glued to her phone, he couldn't help but got curious what it was that she was seeing that making her so happy. So he leaned towards her and peeked over at her phone. There. He saw a photo of a rabbit, and he got curious as well. So he asked Joey, "Joey, there is a cute rabbit you have on your phone. Whose rabbit is that?" Joey was caught off guard, and because she was afraid and didn't want her dad to know, she lied to him by saying, "Oh, um, that's um Kelsey's new pet rabbit." Ah, I didn't know she has a new rabbit. Yeah, she just got it. Joey let out a sigh of relief because her dad didn't suspect anything. The next day, Joey went to school, and she started showing off photos of a new pet rabbit. To impress her friends and classmates, she decided to tell a little white lie. She told them that her dad got her a new pet rabbit as a gift. Her friends were indeed very impressed as Joey was showing off her new pet rabbit photo. One of her friends suddenly asked her, "Hey Joey, which shop did your dad got it from? Is it from Pet Lover?" Because Joey had already told a white lie about her dad getting her this rabbit, she would need to cover it up with more white lies. But before Joey could reply to that question, her other friends started asking her a bunch of other questions all at once. How do you clean your rabbit? What do you feed it? What breed is it? Joey answered all the questions with white lies. A few days later, her dad came home from work and started cleaning the house. While cleaning Joey's room, he found a box and he saw the same rabbit Joey was staring and smiling at during dinner time a few days ago. So, her dad decided to call Kelsey's mom to check about this because Joey mentioned that this rabbit belongs to Kelsey. To his surprise, Kelsey didn't have any pet rabbit at all, and apparently, Joey was telling everyone that he was the one who got the rabbit for her. After knowing about this, her dad was very disappointed. Later that day, during dinner time, dinner was as usual. Her dad asked, "Joey, I'm wondering how's Kelsey's rabbit doing?" Without thinking much about it, she replied. Oh, her rabbit is doing good. That's great to hear. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Joey stopped and think for a moment, as she was suspecting if her dad knew about her rabbit and her lies. But she couldn't be so sure about it, so she just brushed it off and say, "I do not think so." So, um, Joey, can you tell me why is Kelsey's rabbit doing in your room? I found it when I was cleaning the house just now. After hearing this, Joey was caught off guard once again and became very afraid. But 
Because she has been telling white lies, she needs to tell more to cover up the story. Uh, that, uh, Kelsey, well, she let me take care of it. Why didn't you tell me about it? Joey was still trying to think of the next lie to protect herself. Uh, I, I... Her dad interrupted her by saying, Joey, I know what's going on. I know that the rabbit in the room doesn't belong to your good friend Kelsey. I talked to her mom just now, so why did you lie about it? And if this bunny doesn't belong to Kelsey, where do you get the bunny from? Whose rabbit is this? Joey lies were finally discovered. I'm sorry, Dad. I like the rabbit so much that I picked it up on the street and brought it home. I lied to you because I was afraid that you were going to scold me and the rabbit was going to be thrown away if you knew about it. Not only that, but you also lied to your friends and classmates about me giving you the rabbit. Why would you lie about that? I'm sorry. I just wanted to impress them. I'm very disappointed in you for lying. You shouldn't tell lies to impress someone or when you want to cover up something or even when you're afraid. Telling lies make you tell more lies to cover it up. You could have been honest with me and we could have discussed it. If you had been honest with me, we could have taken care of the rabbit together. But instead, the rabbit is hidden in your room and he's pooping and peeing everywhere in the box and it makes your room so smelly. I know. Is that why I can't find my perfume? Anyway, on top of that, you are feeding him only carrots which is not good for him. And it is also very dangerous to pick up a wild animal on the street because you do not know when you pick it up or go near it, it will hurt you. Because the animal is only trying to protect themselves. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't know about that. Joey, you don't need to tell lies to hide things or impress people. There was nothing to be afraid of because your dad used to have a pet rabbit when he was younger. I like rabbits too, you know. And if it went the other way, at the very most, I will just say no and make sure the rabbit was properly taken care of by someone else. What were you so afraid of? Were you afraid I was going to just throw the rabbit away or cook it for your meal? I'm joking. Joey, please do not tell any more lies in the future. Let's try to be honest in what we say and in what we do. Lying affects your relationship with others. Okay, Dad, I will not tell any more lies. When you go back to school tomorrow, I would like you to apologize to your friends and classmates about lying. I will, but can I still keep the rabbit? In Proverbs 12 verse 22, the Bible says, The Lord detests lying lips, but He delights in those who tell the truth. Telling the truth brings delight not only to God, but also to our family, friends, and the people around us. Let us all learn to speak honestly today. Thank you for listening. Have a blessed Sabbath day. Goodbye.